can also use uh, these pegs as a highway peg. See, look. There's a lot to love about this bike. And really, honestly, full honesty, not much to hate. Hi boys and girls, welcome to another glug, glug. Welcome to another vloggy vlog. We are here in the middle of Catskills, God knows where. And uh, not really in the middle, we're kind of on the outskirts. We're on our way to New York City. And here is my 2022 Ducati Monster 937. My baby. 455 miles on her and uh, let's discuss about my experience so far it's 46 degrees well it says 55 because we're sitting in the Sun and it will be warming up but we're right here cruising I was in the Catskills for the weekend and this is uh, my first time actually taking the bike out. I don't want to ride like this. And she pulls. That's a nice spot right there as well. A lot of good pull-offs around here. We got 130 some miles to the city. So let's discuss how I feel about this bike after a little under two months and after 450 miles first of all like I've said many times already what a machine that's like the very first impression what a machine capable powerful pulls in any gear easy to control handles beautifully even with the stock suspension that is lacking you know it's obvious it's obvious the the front is a little bit bouncy not adjustable the rear is okay the rear I didn't notice any problems but the front scatters the hips about that's why this bike will really benefit from a steering dampener which I will inevitably put onto this thing even the gas mileage is very reasonable because obviously what I really like is the all the modes and everything right but like it tells you your fuel range which is not very impressive to anybody who's probably had the bike for the last five years or whatever ten years my 2006 did not have a fuel range I did not know how fast I was going and where and when not fat and fuel I did not know how fast I was going I knew how fast I was going I didn't know how much gas I have left so I had to like kind of guess and reset my trip meter and all that well those days the days of resetting the trip meter I mean yes you could still reset the trip meter just for uh, funsies but the days of doing it to see how much gas you got are long gone and I am a huge technology nerd and I love, love, love all the little modes, all the little... No, oh, it's still recording. I keep thinking the battery is going to die. Because I'm using a new battery, Tesla, Telson, uh, but that's a whole different vlog. I'm, uh, exp I'm uh, reviewing these uh, endurance batteries from a uh, company. Oh, nice. Now we got uh, fuel gauges on. 42 miles to go and the fuel gauge is on. Interesting. Anyway, so yeah, so that's a beautiful thing. That kind of like... Uh, takes the stress away a little bit a stress of uh uh anyway I showed those guys showed those guys <laughs> the front left definitely came up you gotta like punch it in second look
I don't know, but there's actually cops around here. I shouldn't do it. Um, so yeah, the front, the 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 bike is just light. Uh, I still have not, you know, like this is a 405, 50 mile review. Even though I did get it into like high RPMs right away and kind of like quote unquote started abusing it, I did not really give it like a what you call a traditional break in where you keep it under certain RPMs because there's a little north huh? there's different schools of thought about like the break-in you know and uh i did not do uh oh look that's cute love this barn i did not do a traditional break-in but that being said i have never put it in sport mode yet 450 miles later i still kept it in touring and everything uh kind of like uh towards the middle let's see There we go, it tells you right there. Traction control on three, ABS on two, Ducati wheelie control on two, and a quick shifter on, up and down. Because look, I can do the same exact settings in sport, and uh, it's interesting. I can do the same exact settings in sport, but I wonder what the difference will be, if there will be a difference, which I don't think there might be. So how do I get rid of that menu now? Oh, I love this turn. I forgot how much I love this turn. See, I don't even know my menus yet. So, I have not opened her up. So I can't wait to start experimenting with uh, the wheelie control on a lower setting once I'm more used to it. Plus it's been like below freezing often and I'm not trying to like break traction because these tires, the Pirelli's Rosso 3's I believe, they're great, they're fine. But, I don't know much about them. Man. Hello. Sir. Just fucking, like, 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 the joy of that. Just like the little brappies all I need the little brappies what a machine the comfort of it you know I'm sitting on it you know what's funny when I first got on this bike when I first bought it I actually bought it without ever riding it right I just bought it uh, because I wanted it and I knew because I mean I've sat on it I've sat on this bike I've obviously you know in dealerships and whatnot and like other people's bikes but I was like yeah I think it should be fine I think uh this will be comfy enough but when I first rode it from the dealership that video is actually up it's called like real first ride or something like that uh it I was like what the hell this thing felt like kind of a, a super low Nice. Those guys were dirt biking. Nice. How you doing? We are back. We're at chilling. And uh, I think I was talking about comfort and whatnot. And then uh, I pulled over to those sheds and the battery died. So anyway, I just filled up the bike. And uh, last time I filled it up, uh, it told me my range is 201 miles now I'm not sure how many miles I did because I was uh, playing around with the uh, trip meters uh, when I got uh, to to my spot oh look at this town this town is gorgeous look at this shit yes epic uh, so I'm not sure exactly how many miles I got to the last tank but it was easily over a hundred and like 70 I don't even know I don't even know a lot a lot of miles so that's another beautiful thing so unless you ride like a complete jerk weasel the bike is fine and I love the you know technically I should probably put the the range up here at all times I don't really need to see these bars these bars don't mean anything I could probably go in there now and uh, get to that setting and change it 
and see. Setting menu. Oh, you can't. Yeah, it's not gonna let you fuck with settings. Why would it? That's a good idea. All right, let's get going again. So, um, fuel consumption, fantastic. Obviously, she's a little thirsty. If you get on it, it's a hyper motor. You know, it's a, it's a, the Testostrata, whatever, Shing Ding with 111 horses. So it definitely has a little bit of a drinking problem. But if you cruise and you snooze, the baby can go forever. Like right now, I have 130 miles back to the city, 20 miles. Not concerned. Not concerned for a second. The mirrors, obviously, stock mirrors are terrible. Everybody knows that. Same with a uh, stock uh, tail tidy, or the not even tail tidy, tail untidy, more like. That thing was a mess, so that needed to change. I put on the crash protection. The turn signals for the front, I'll do uh, um, the Euro style, I think. I think those are the cutest, because I don't really particularly want anything big, but those, especially if they, if, it's possible to smoke them out a little bit, maybe. That'd be fantastic. Wow, close the turn signals. You probably don't want to smoke them out. It is interesting that it's uh, actually getting a little uh, cooler as I'm heading south. All right, well, turn the gloves back on. Fair enough. Technically, these last for four hours on the highest setting, so crank those bitches up. The, uh, the Highway 21s. Um, and I was able to, you can't really see it, but I was able to attach my Krieger bag and uh, so the bike can obviously tour and my bag right now is heavy like I was actually concerned with because uh, I just attached those straps I bought them from Krieger, it's a fit kit and, uh, and I was like, this is my very first ride with it and I'm right away putting on a full packed US 30 bag uh, Krieger US 30 that's like their 30 liter bag, but it's like heavy. It's not It's filled up And it's fine and I can see adding another one the tent. So this is a grand tour you can stand up on the pegs The thing is fucking gorgeous. You can also use uh, these pegs as a highway peg. See look see how's that? How's dope so like you can literally just like uh be cruising look down the shift because you know your legs are off and uh because you need a clutch you just downshift downshift you know and you're good bob is your uncle oh this is actually a better gas station could have probably stopped here instead but it's okay always forget about this little town I'm waiting for the temperature to increase by one degree so yeah Kriegers are fine and once the tail tidy is in once I have a like an integrated oh look at this this is so cool it's like a abandoned movie theater but once the um, tail tidy is in it's gonna be great and speaking of turn signals self-canceling turn signals which sounds stupid uh oh is this uh I think it's a fire alarm I don't think it has to do with uh It's either a bomb strike, missile strike, or fire alarm. Not sure. Hard to tell. Hard to really know for sure, you know what I mean? Nowadays. By the way, I'm definitely doing a Burger King. Lol. We go 168 miles range. I can add hated grips, I will not do that just yet. Uh, there's also a weird little rack you can buy for the back, like a flat part. I don't know, could be useful, could be just a waste of money. One thing I am gonna get is a little belly fairing, you know, like a little belly pan. 
everything else was fine the brakes are great grippy modular uh I'm telling you like if you're on the fence about this bike if you really like it and you're on a fence and something is stopping you some sort of like a weird thing fucking go for it bro grab the bull by its horns and thrash it about it about forty eight degrees. All right, there is hope after all. I'm trying to decide, trying to think what else I could tell you because I mean, I've had this bike for 500 miles. Like, the way it starts is kind of funny, you know, compared to uh, other bikes because, like, I'm not used to this digital screen. So, when you hit the p start button the screen shuts off for a second it kind of like resets and each time it's a little unnerving because i'm like oh is the bike fucking turn it off and look right now like people are always concerned well it's a bad time because it's 48 degrees but people concerned with the heat you know obviously i haven't ridden in super hot days yet but this is uh the bike is perfect i wish it was warmer it's at 150 degrees right now chilling cooling and my gas range is actually going up because I'm coasting in six. Sweet glory, sweet glory. And it just feels light. Like as soon as you start playing with it, it literally just feels super light. I love it. Look at this. You don't even have to do anything. Like literally I'm just moving my fucking hips and the thing is uh, just dancing, dancing. I can't wait to take it on proper little twisties. I know a couple of good twisties. Route 22, for example. If you know, you know. By Olive Bridge, my man. Um, so, yeah. Can't wait to take it on proper little twisties where I actually have to like move my ass off the seat a little bit. And there's a mod actually out there called uh, like the tall seat mod. I think it's the same height as the because the Monster SB, this is the regular plus because it came with the screen that I actually took off there's a little windscreen I took off and a piece of plastic for the back, the cowl but the SB version comes with A, it comes with a dampener which is, you know, is something I actually want and the all in front suspension and rear which is something I also want I mean, I should have bought the SB, truth be told I just didn't want the paint job but I could have bought different plastics whatever too late now uh, but as speed comes with a taller seat it actually comes with a taller seat and this is where I usually go like a hundred something all right this is uh how you lose your license not today Lucifer this bike Cause I got even downshifted. I'm in touring mode. Like I, this bike pulls like I can't even show you. Oh, it also has a freaking Ducati launch performance launch, which I haven't used yet. I need to uh, play with that one of these days. But yeah, Ducati performance launch. That's something. That's something. And I'm actually excited because the stock exhaust. It sounds good when you're in the higher RPMs, when you're on it But uh, you can't hear it at all on the lower RPMs obviously Man, this is a straight where you can go I've gone like 120 something on the old bike here You can only imagine how Probably do about 40, easy I think it tops out at 140 something I don't think it's a uh, You know The top speed here is not super high because the suspension is bad I bet is unruly at the top but yeah the SB comes with a taller seat by 20 millimeters which is like this much which will actually make a lot of difference and I will do that I actually will because uh, that way you'll be like a little bit higher up a uh, little more aggressive but, but maybe not because this right now feels like really cruisy which I kind of like I like the cruisy feel of it I can't even hear it. 
like literally right now the only noise because like on my 620 monster you hear the roar you hear the freaking madness here the only thing i hear is the wind which is kind of interesting kind of interesting so i give this bike two thumbs up i'll be honest with you what else can i tell you about the first two months month and a half the first 500 miles this is freaking great oh nice pull off there um Plus it's like if you're lane splitting, that's another thing. I mean, obviously I chose to do this little review uh, in the piece of twisty so I can actually think. But this baby lane splits with the best of them and the turning radius has been improved dramatically over the old monsters, the classicer monsters with the trellis and all that. Even the A21s and uh, 1200 where you don't have to do okay because monsters are known for like K turns and like three point turns and all that shit. No longer. This baby can actually turn around easily. And uh, when you're lane splitting, sometimes you have to like actually, I mean, at least I do, and a lot of you do, I'm sure as well. We actually have to back up. You take a few steps back with the bike to like make a move, to take a right, to take a left between cars to get ahead. And this thing you just turn the bars and it just goes in it's glorious it truly is glorious well, that girl looks cute too and in two weeks i'm going camping that's gonna be great next weekend i'm probably going upstate again because i do have to take care of a couple of things that's fun so this thing will get a nice little workout and uh 600 mile service i'm up to 484 and about 100 miles still to the city so that's perfect Next week I'll uh, email about major service or first service 600 miles and then I can decat it, put a decat on this baby and then we'll actually hear it while I'm deciding on uh, what exhaust to get because right now I'm not exactly sure which exhaust. It's a good question. But look how this thing is just munching miles. You're just relaxing. Fly by wire is so smooth. So smooth. It's a beautiful thing. I know it's a rather long video, but I'm trying to squeeze out all my emotions about this bike that I have so far. And they're all positive. Like, and it's a looker. I was worried, like, you know, because Obviously, all Ducat Ducatisti or Ducati people initially were like, yo, look, where the fuck is the trellis, B? You know, like that kind of thing. Where is the trellis, though? But then I like quickly was like, forget it. It weighs 40 pounds lighter than the A21. 40 pounds. 40 pounds than the A21. And this has a much better motor. Like, forget it. Fuck the trellis. But anyway, like, but I was still like, the looks were a little weird. Oh, it's nice to pop. Um, well, guess what? This bike, like now I look at it, like, the, you know, that, that cheesy thing. If you don't park, if you park your bike and you don't look at it for a few minutes after you park it, you bought the wrong one. Well, I bought the right one. I certainly bought the right one. Because I definitely park it and I definitely look at it. Beautiful little roads right there. I want to go there. I want to go over there. This truck's trying to pull out. Or no, it's just parked, I think. Nice. There's a lot to love about this bike. And really, honestly, full honesty, not much to hate. I'm trying to think what I hate about it. I mean, maybe if you start nickel diming you're like yeah it's a little expensive this baby is not a cheap bike you know what i mean because you can get xyz for one two three thousand dollars less ellenville nice everybody knows ellenville yeah you can get this and that 
for this and that much and not the point not the point of this exercise because look how civilized this baby is I bet people are confused look at the range 174 miles the range went up the range is going up 177 look at that Yo, Ellenville. 177 miles. This thing sounds hilarious right now. It literally, you cannot hear it at all. Whatsoever. It's truly remarkable. Nice. Hello, sir. So what else can I tell you about this machine, this wonderful machine? I think that might be it. I think, I think everything has been said. Buy one. I got wireless charging here. I got my tracker on this baby. Do it. And it's gonna sing. Anyway, I'm not trying to make too long of a vlog now so i'll talk to you guys later all right thank you for watching bye bye